hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys the yoruba language is very nuanced as a lot of you may have heard me say several on this channel the yoruba language is largely spoken in idiomatic expressions and in parables for instance uh we say in yoruba language ti obafe je oshakala je oshakala tobafe je oshokolo je oshokolo ewoniti oshakala shokolo so if you want to be oshakala it doesn't translate by the way uh, fully into english of course because the yoruba uh, language is far too rich and far too nuanced as i said but loosely that means if you want to bear the term oshakala bear the term oshakala and if you want to bear the term oshokolo bear the term oshokolo but what is the meaning of oshakala shokolo so it is effectively uh, eat your cake and have it at the same time sort of expression as guys i bring you this no istana has told me that they want to run for presidency chief olushegun oshoba of course is the person now that has now come out into the public space to have his say so now this really speaks to the uh Igbo conundrum so on the one hand there's this massive agitation for Bihafra land led by of course Nandekanu and then on the on the other hand there's also an equally uh, vociferous agitation uh, for the presidency come 2023 so which is it are you or shakala or are you or shokolo again the headline no istana has told me that they want to run for presidency a headline attributed to chief olushegun oshoba so now let's now see what the yoruba chieftain has to say all progressive congress chieftain and former governor of ogun state chief olushegun oshoba has said that no person from the southeast has consulted him about running for the presidency recounting how he went round the southeast and how he also consulted some Igbo leaders when mko abiola ran for the presidency in 1992 in an interview with arise tv oshoba stated that no istana has told him that he or she is interested in the presidency and he only reads it in the newspapers so here are his uh, exact words as far as i am concerned nobody and i say it categorically has told me that the Igbo or istana wants to run for the presidency all i read are on the pages of newspapers on former governor of Lagos state bola Tinubu contesting in the 2023 presidential election the apc chieftain averred that it was within his rights he also called on southwest to unite and have a consensus candidate that they will be filled in in the election so there you have it now ladies and gentlemen and this exactly goes to the heart of the matter so what this now uh, former governor of uh uh ogun state is stating is he's saying that uh during the uh night let, let's actually uh go through his words again recounting how he went round the southeast and how he consulted some ego leaders when mko abiola ran for the presidency in 1992 so this is now how politics is played within the nigerian uh uh, space because uh politics within the nigerian space uh, is like a negotiated position it's like um oh it's it's, it's like a trade-off it's like trade by butter it's about traveling widely and consulting with a myriad of opinions to then arrive at a position so this is how politics is played and by the way our chief oshoba saying this is not the first person to say this and it's not by the way the first uh, person to say this on this particular channel uh not my channel but on on arise tv so i remember uh, a while ago isa fantua the uh cabal one of the cabal members i think he's dead now i remember an interview that he granted uh, uh ruben abati and his team and he was saying to them that look the egos they want to stay aloof whilst also want wanting to uh, agitate 
for their rights within the space. So you cannot be aloof and negotiate at the same time. It doesn't quite work like that. You have to be compliant, you have to be friendly, you have to be embracing, and you have to be all encompassing. But the uh, egos, he said, place themselves on this pedestal whilst insisting one that they are superior to everyone else and at the same time wanting equal rights and concessions from everyone else. So a dichotomous position, this is how the Igbos, Igbos way, or Shakala on the one hand and or Shokolo on the other hand. So this is now the politics that the Igbos are playing and this politics does not uh, at all fit into the Nigerian and uh, negotiated sort of like a positioning sort of politics because you have to understand that Nigeria is made up of uh, several pockets of nations you have the Hausas, you have the Fulanis, you have the Igbos, you have the South South, you have the Yoruba land and you have everybody else in between so these are as uh, political blocks effectively this you have to take these people as one entity and go uh, to the leadership of these people and make nice in order to uh, achieve your political will so you cannot be unzo bunzo booing and uh, abusing everybody on radio behafra and on the other hand go around uh agitating that it is your turn and your right to be president it is not the turn or right of anybody to be president uh, politics is a game of uh, negotiations and numbers and it's a game of really politicking so if you're in politics then you have to politic and politicking is not agitating for uh, so secession so agitating for secession there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if the egos are, are saying that that is their foremost want that they want to secede from the nigerian state then their central and sole focus should be on that and if they push that hard enough uh, it'd be very difficult for anybody to continue to hold them against their will but you cannot push for secession and push for the presidency at the same time and if you are pushing for the presidency you cannot push for the presidency on the pages of our uh, newspapers effectively is uh, what our uh, uh, chief Oshoba is saying because he is now saying because if you are thinking southwestern politics uh, uh, one of the premier names one of the paramount names within the political sphere of the southwestern region is our chief Oshoba and if chief Oshoba is coming out to say that no Igbo person has tried to parley him to indicate an interest in uh, 2023 then what politics what political moves at the Igbo plain uh, or are they making rather what political moves are the Igbos are making because if they are saying it is their turn uh, in 2023 and they are not consulting or trying to get the Yorubas on board and trying to get the Hausas on board and the Fulanis uh, on board how then are they going to uh, actualize that uh, want that ambition of our 2023 presidency this is the question and this is what our Isa Fantua was saying on Arise TV and this is now what our Shegun Oshoba has come to repeat on a rice TV, you can't just get the presidency out of a sense of entitlement or guilt stripping anybody into handing it to you. The Nigerian presidency is the most powerful presidency, and powerful, I mean, not that it has the power to conquer other nations, but in terms of the power that the Nigerian presidency wields over the Nigerian nation, it is the most powerful in terms of wielding powers over its population uh that's the reason in, in the world there is no other presidency that wields the power over its people uh, that the nigerian presidency does the nigerian presidency is is also uh, probably the most lucrative presidency in the world because nigeria is one of the richest nations in the world and there are no laws to protect the commonwealth for the greater good so whoever is president of nigeria is 
pretty much like an open ticket to to become as rich as Mansa Musa. So this is really the Nigerian presidency. So the luster and the allure and the power and the potency of it is like a beacon to so many people. And people, as you know, they still kill and borrow to get to that position. You've been seeing Atenobu walking his way to that presidency since 1999. You saw how long it took Buhari to get to that position. You saw when Obasanjo was there, he did not want to let go and he wanted to change the constitution. So the luster of the Nigerian presidency is very potent. So you cannot just say it is my turn and therefore people will hand it to you. You have to carry people along and carrying people along is forming relationships with the different nations of Nigeria to get them on board with your ambition, which is uh, patently what the Igbos are not doing. So a sense of entitlement is what they are really uh, thinking is going to propel them to the presidency and if that is the case there can be only one retort to that and that would be dream on so dream on effectively is what Ashegun Oshoba is saying to the Igbo people who are not really seeking people to rally to their cause and stay in aloof instead and just agitating that they are marginalized and they are entitled conversations in the comment section you cannot have your cake and eat it at the same time it's the same cake of course so you cannot eat a whole cake and still hold on to it as a possession it's really what is being said to the Igbo people you are either Bihafra or you are Nigeria and if you are Nigeria then you have to politic what says you come share thoughts but before you come share those thoughts click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video click on like as well because that helps with the youtube algorithm once you've done all the clickings come join me then in the comment section chief shegun oshoba has spoken now to the fault lines in the eagles uh wants and desires which is uh not clear to anybody so if you have clarity on this then come share it in the comment section so i'll leave you here Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section, but here I say, peace.